Hey there! I'm delighted to share a little behind the scenes peek into one of my recent watercolor paintings, Celestia Astra. I will give you a quick breakdown of how I created this really detailed painting from the first sketch to the last brush stroke. But for those of you interested in a more detailed version of this tutorial, I have the full version available for my Patreon supporters. It's an excellent way to delve deeper into my process and gain some new insights into watercolor and mixed media painting. My process started with AI. I used it to generate my initial reference image, which I furthermore changed and adjusted in Photoshop. I also took a photo of my own hand to replace the hand in my reference, because you know how AI hands look, don't you? I've always been a bit tech savvy, so since AI came out, I decided to integrate it into my artistic process. And so far it really complemented it and I'm able to realize so many more fascinating painting subjects than I could do before. This reference had a particularly beautiful limited color palette with three dominant hues, gold, blue and pink, such a harmonious combination. Next I converted the AI reference into a sketch digitally. I find it saves me a lot of time and allows me to focus more on the painting process. Once the sketch was ready, I printed it out onto my watercolor paper and voila, my canvas was prepared. The first layers were all about setting the skin tone. I used a blend of opera rose and yellow ochre, creating a warm natural complexion. Then it was time to work on the hair. An interesting interplay of azurite and cerulean blue with a hint of pink. The result was a light blue shade with a lovely green undertone, perfect for my subject. Next I turned my attention to the dress, painting in the gold areas with my favorite metallic paints. After that dried, I added depth by layering on cerulean and azurite blue. I added details, refined patterns and worked in some hatching techniques on the fabric. The process was lengthy and intricate, but that's what makes it all the more rewarding, doesn't it? I used light luminance pencils, dark polychromos pencils and my trusty crayons. Yes, even the ones you would use in a kindergarten class can make beautiful art. Once the background was set, it was time for the final layer on the hair. A pure dark indigo blue with a touch of a violet red tone for variation. Then came those intricate details on the hands, the butterfly and these lovely Art Nouveau elements. I used a combination of watercolors and a touch of gouache paint to add some grungy vintage effects. When it seemed finished, I stepped back and realized the forearms needed darkening. It was a scary change to make so late in the process, but it had to be done. I used a blend of burnt sienna, opera rose and cerulean blue to get the right shades. Finally, I added the Egyptian inspired tattoos and corrected some details with color pencils. The last step smoothing out the neck area with grey and cinnamon brown pencils to give it a more even look. And there it was, my final painting. For me it was a joy to see how my different techniques intertwined and I could create something truly beautiful with them. This piece found its forever home through the Bad Apple Artist Collective auction and I couldn't be happier. I'm thinking of making prints of this painting next month in June, so if you're interested in that, Subscribe to my newsletter on my website to get notified. Until next time, keep creating and happy painting! Bye bye!